guys are watching this, then that means I am in labor with my fourth baby, my fourth daughter. So crazy. I can't believe I'm sitting here filming this video for you guys. Obviously, this is a pre-recorded video, so as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I'm not in like active labor or anything. But I wanted to film this video that way whenever I am in labor and I'm in the hospital, baby girl is on the way. I can set this video to go live. That way you guys know where I am if I end up going MIA for a little bit off of social media. I just... I can't believe we are here already. I feel like I just announced my pregnancy to you guys. This pregnancy has just flown by, but it's also been my hardest pregnancy. I mean, being pregnant during a pandemic, being pregnant after experiencing the loss of our daughter Everly, it's just, wow, this journey has been a whirlwind, you guys. The beginning of my pregnancy was just filled with so many fears and so much anxiety, so much nerves. And since I've been pregnant during a pandemic, Benny literally hasn't gone to like any of my appointments with me. The only appointment that he was able to go in with me was literally the first appointment. My very first appointment where we saw a baby girl for the first time and she was literally like this tiny in there. That's the only time Benny has ever gone into my appointment. So just going into those by myself and just, you know, going through all of the emotions has been crazy, but we made it and we are here. We're about to welcome baby girl into our family and I, I'm just feeling so many emotions. Obviously, like I said, as I'm sitting here, I'm not in labor, but I imagine I am just feeling so many emotions. I imagine I'm going through all of the nerves and just overall, just so excited for a baby girl to join us. As I'm sitting here filming this, I am 38 weeks and three days so i figured it was time for me to sit down and film this video for you guys the past uh like two three nights i've actually been having consistent contractions so that's why i told myself when i woke up this morning today is the day i need to film this video because i feel like baby girl is just getting ready to make her appearance. If you guys are watching this video on October 23rd, then that means I made it to my scheduled induction because I am going to be induced with baby girl. I have a video up if you guys are wondering why I am being induced. So I'll link that right here if you guys wanna watch that. So if you guys are watching this video on the 23rd, then that means I made it to my scheduled induction date. But if this video for some reason has gone up before the 23rd, then that means I went into labor on my own and baby girl is ready to just say hello, make her appearance into this world. So I'm curious to see if I make it to the 23rd, my scheduled induction date, because like I said, the past couple nights, I've been having consistent contractions and they've been keeping me up. They're not like excruciating, painful, like, oh my goodness, like I have to like stop and like just focus on them. They haven't been that crazy or anything, but they've been strong enough to where they keep me up at night. So I haven't been getting much sleep lately. So like I said, I'm just curious to see if I actually made it to my induction date but we will see, I guess I'll find out with you guys. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering what is baby girl's name? And we will be announcing in the birth vlog. I'm not gonna make you guys wait. I'm not gonna drag out her birth vlog in like three separate videos or whatever the case may be. I plan on filming her full birth and then at the end of our birth video, I will do a little name announcement for you guys. So the next video you guys see after this one will be baby girl's birth vlog slash name announcement. So make sure you guys have your post notifications turned on. That way you guys don't miss that video. And that way I can officially share baby girl with you guys. I am just so excited and I'm feeling so blessed. So just thank you guys so much for following our family's journey again. You guys are always just so sweet with all of your messages 
since the beginning since we very first announced this pregnancy you guys have been just so like amazing so supportive and that really has just like helped ease all of our fears especially my fears my anxiety it really just helps me and i just want to thank you guys so so much for all of your love your support your sweet comments so with all of that being said i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys one last bump update and that kind of makes me sad a little bit because this might be our last baby i've told you guys this is probably it so this is probably the last time i'm ever going to be pregnant the last time i'm ever gonna have a belly like this the last time i'm going to be feeling baby kicks the last time i'm going to be giving birth it's just it's very bittersweet so here is my bump at 38 weeks and a few days She's definitely getting ready. She's definitely down there. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. We're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul Don't drench your desire in what you can't control We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there And we might, we might, be lost but not forever Things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end Always rise up through it all, it all We get a little wiser There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a I don't know, I swear. I told them I didn't want to know, so it's in the envelope. But, I have other good news. What? Our carrier testing uh -huh. came back fine, so we're not carriers. Uh -huh. And the baby's chromosomes came back good too. Awesome. Everything's all awesome, normal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> There's things in life you simply need to know About sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights